you're asking tonight is, as city leaders fight at City Hall, can you trust them after being elected to actually go do their job? New at 6 tonight, WIAT 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle went to Councilman Marcus Lundy's district to speak with residents. Stefan, how are they reacting this evening? Jim, good evening. Residents of District 9 are not pleased one bit about today's brawl in city council chambers. In fact, they call the incident an eyesore to the city. Now, the altercation allegedly stemmed from a budget meeting Monday night where the mayor's chief of operations took back a car that was on loan to the city council without even notifying them, furthering the rhetoric by city council president Jonathan Austin that there is no respect for council. I went to District 9 and spoke with a resident who said the entire ordeal deal is a major embarrassment. Because they're supposed to be there to set an example for the community and for the, the districts that they serve, you know. Instead of dying at Bickling, they need to be doing something for the community. Everything that happened here in Birmingham, mm -hmm. this gives it another black eye. Mm -hmm. Every time we try to get our um, eyes clear, mm -hmm. something happened. Now, that black eye could also be true for the year city council has had, let alone the past three weeks, from a meeting where councilors and the mayor didn't show up to verbal assaults at meetings in public. Now, this makes it all the more interesting to citizens of the Magic City of exactly how their leaders will move Birmingham forward. Live at City Hall tonight, Stefan Dingle, WIT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.